You too. Kick. Welcome. Um, this is kind of a uh, behind the scenes, I guess you could say. Um, I've taken a week off from uh, <clears throat> uh, live streaming, but we're gonna get right back into it. Um, obviously, by probably by the time you see this video, I mean, um, <clears throat> I have already been back. But uh, that's why this looks so much different. I'm using a uh, different camera and everything. And now that I'm looking at this camera, I don't like it. So we'll be switching back to the other camera soon. But for now, this is just kind of behind the scenes. Just kind of, a, you know, just chill with me. Just kind of some things that I want to kind of go over. We'll still have a smoke session. I'll still upload this for you guys. But I just kind of want to go over a couple things that I wanted to switch up. Um, so what can I smoke is still going to be a thing. But I think I'm going to kind of start calling this the smoke show. Um, you know, just like I used to back in the day. Um, and it will consist of smoking and talking. Um, I've thought about doing um, some, some... I've thought about... As you hear, there's no music in the background either. I'm playing the head off my phone. Um, but it's all behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> just a random session. But I wanted to say that one thing I wanted to do was... Uh, I thought about making a separate show and just having like a show that I put on my I consider what kind of change my main channel what kind of smoke is just a secondary channel so I got I don't have to get all the copyright and all the smoking on my regular channel um but I think I'm gonna stick with what I've been doing which is having a nice smoke sesh before for you guys to hang out with me and then go into a talk um I think I just like that format because it kind of um, allows me to kind of get into the groove as we continue to talk and stuff like that. Man, this camera's lighting is terrible. It's having it's struggling with the lights in the background. Uh, you see how white my wall looks in the back. Well, um, but yeah, I just I like that format a lot better. I feel like I can um, talk with you guys a lot easier. Um, we can kind of relax and talk because I feel like if I do a, a whole show first, I do like a whole talk thing first, especially because I live stream these. Um, it, it kind of takes away from the smoke session. By the time we get to the smoke session, I don't really have much to say. We're, I'm just smoking the whole time. And, I, and what, another thing is, I don't really like smoking the entire time. Um, it's hard to smoke for three hours straight, four hours straight if I'm doing a long live stream. So, and I've been trying to push them to about two and a half hours to three hours. So to make a whole smoke show, I think it's just better to uh, mix them both in. That way I'm not smoking the entire three hours or two hours, let's say I do an hour talking and then an hour, two hours smoking. I can mix it up, smoke for 30 minutes, talk for 30 minutes. And if I have plenty of talks to do, I can talk for, I can smoke for 30 minutes, do a quick talk for like 15 minutes, a uh, quick little five minute smoke session, go right back into like a 20 minute talk. And you know, I've done that. I've had nights where I've had an hour and a half of talking and then an hour and a half of smoking or an hour and a half of talking and an hour of smoking. And I just like to mix it up. That way I'm not killing my lungs the whole time. Because contrary to belief, when I'm not on this camera, I don't smoke that much. Um, I mainly smoke for entertainment for you guys and to sit back and enjoy with you guys. It's like hanging out with me. But when I'm not on camera, guys, I, I probably smoke. I probably hit take two or three hits and that's it for the day. So it's a big difference. So I just kind of want to stick with that. Um, but like I said, we will, we'll have fun, but we'll have nights nice where we don't smoke as much. And we'll have nights nice where we smoke a ton. So um, with that said... Let's go ahead and have a quick dab sesh. I'll tell you guys, I'm missing it, man. I, I, I'm i struggling. I ain't gonna lie. I like live streaming. I like doing it and sitting, not having, not doing it this week. And this is the reason why you do take breaks. It kind of rejuvenates you, you know, to get geared back up. You know, I took a break during my, when I took off for uh, my exams, but I, I didn't really have a break. Because I was focusing so much on exams. So it wasn't really like a, a break to me. Um, but this time is a real break. I don't have anything going on. You know, I, I go back to work next week. had a two-week uh, vacation. I'll go back to work next week. And then life will be back to normal for the most part. But this is going to be such a change for me. So... Yeah, this is one of the few times in my life where, and, I, and I'm bored to death. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really bored. Um, but, you know, that's that's kind of why I, that's kind of why I don't understand why some people want to, um, 
Uh, this is why I kind of don't understand why people are so bent on they want to make so much money where they have nothing to do. If you don't, and I love, y'all need guys need to listen to Think Before You Sleep. But one thing he talks about a lot, and I enjoy it, is if you don't, I mean, and this you can find, you know, this God teaches these things too through uh, people. Uh, but, you know, the devil will make work for idle hands. If you don't have a passion or find something to do, and it doesn't have to be live streaming. It doesn't even have to be that, anything that special. It could simply just, you know, be working out. It could simply be golfing. It could simply reading a book every night. But you got to find something because if you just come home every day and just sit around bored, it's just a matter of time before you start getting into drugs, pornography. Um, you start getting into bad habits and some people start doing crimes. It's the same thing we see what happens with the kids on TikTok, you know. The kids get so bored during their summers that they decide to do goofy stuff. You know what I mean? And so I think we kind of, kind of find a passion. So when I'm going, I, I feel so crazy not doing anything. Um, it's affecting me, you know, um, especially because I'm an addict in a lot of ways. So I got to keep myself busy. So I've been going to the gym two or three times a day, at least twice a day for sure. Um, but outside of that, man, like just sitting around, it's hard for me. Um, so... This is one of the things I'm doing to keep myself busy. Even though I'm not live streaming, I can still talk with you guys and still make videos. Um, still start coming up with more plans. Uh, I'll take a quick hit. I just forgot I don't have any water in here. Ugh. That was embarrassing. Oh, my God. I'm keeping all this. And I cannot use this because I need to clean it out first. So we're going to switch gears. And we're going to move to this. clean that out I forgot I, 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 I washed it earlier and I forgot to put water in there and I forgot to actually clear it out which obviously I can't go do that right now but I don't want to get out of the habit of not live streaming so I don't I don't do edits stuff like that like I said I want to do this one day either live streaming or live radio one day and so I don't want to form any bad habits no matter what so I want to get in the habit of live streaming and that way you don't make mistakes and one of the mistakes I made was not... One of the things I want to do better about is... Uh, I want to do better about preparing. What I, I, I'm in a bad habit of is right now, currently, and getting in better shape. But um, bad habit I have right now is not being ready when the live stream starts. I don't have my stuff ready to smoke and everything. And so I want to get in the habit of taking an hour before I start my live stream. And um, start... Um, have everything ready to go. That way when live stream starts, everything's ready to go. Man. Cleaning this thing is such a hassle because in order to clean it, I got to take everything out. I'm not in the mood. <laughs> so I normally don't clean it. I just clean it every day. <clears throat> I'll, I'll throw it in some alcohol and then I'll clean it myself. It's quite a process to clean this turp slipper, but I do like it. Um, but if you don't like to clean too much, I prefer, I am going to look into a dab rig um, that I'm going to use. Um, just so we have something to dab out of. I'll still use this thing, um, but I got to work my way up for some things before I start promoting this Terp Slurper. Um, I don't get paid for using these guys, um, <clears throat> so I prefer to always try to promote Pulsar or Luca. Um, 
even though they don't, you know, they're not paying me a ton or anything like that. But the main point is to build a relationship. You know, some things you got to start off doing for free. I, it's not like I'm a big YouTuber or something. So I got to earn my right. But I think the day will come where I'll start getting free items from these guys all the time. And that'll make it worth it. Um, and like I said, my what can I change is going to be the money maker. That's where I'm going to focus my skills on being a better host and stuff like that. That's where, and I don't care about, I'm not talking about like YouTube AdSense or anything like that, but just get big enough to where if um, <clears throat> YouTube doesn't kill me for, you know, not being necessarily political, right? Politically correct all the time, I can, um, you know, just use that to build up a portfolio. Uh, and then, like I said, I don't expect YouTube or Kick or anything to be my main source of income. Um, I expect, I want to have a skill that can't be replaced so easily. That if I don't, that like if all this stuff stops and they're like, no more kick, no more twitch, no more this, I can go put my skills to something else. I can still do stuff. I can still make money other way. That's partially why I'm going to school, you know, so I can uh, have those skills and certifications and technology. That if this stuff isn't going that way, and it probably won't, I always have something to fall back on. And I need to build a skill in something else. Um, I have built up a skill in live streaming i built up a skill in making videos i built up a skill in being in front of the camera so those are skills that i think will carry on and what i want to do what i want to do in my uh, life but <clears throat> in being able to show off products and be able to get better with lighting and stuff like that i think this will um fall into my favor eventually and these skills will build up over time and i have been building them up but another thing will be um having a skill in two things you know it's hard to master two things but just having it be integrated at something and being uh, knowledgeable and something else will help me a lot. Cheers. I don't know how well y'all can hear that music. Enough. I actually prefer <coughs> I used to prefer smoking flour over dabs, but I actually prefer dabs over uh, uh over smoking. I don't mind smoking flour. But if I get the choice, like most of the time when like I said, when I'm not recording, when I smoke, I just I hit like two or three dabs and I'm out. I'm done. Not, not I go to bed or anything, but that's it. I don't need anything else. It normally relaxes me enough to chill for the rest of the night. And some nights, I only hit maybe one one dab, and that's it. I may hit just a little bit out of my... Uh... I don't know where it is right now, but my little Q7, my little mini Q7, I hit. I, I take a hit out of that, and I'm done for the night. And uh, that's kind of where I want to keep going. <clears throat> Dabs um, are a little bit more concentrated. But with CBD, I have once thought, and I I, I want to correct this. Um, it sucks that I, I'll probably correct this on live stream too. But I want to say this. I had said that you, you will become dependent on CBD just like TAC. I ha I'm starting to disagree with that. Because I noticed, even when I was smoking a ton of CBD, right, when I first started doing this, and I was live streaming a lot, I've noticed, like, especially throughout this week, like, if I don't, I have only taken one or two dabs, and they're, like, light dabs, they're not, like, I'm taking a gram at a time or something. It's just, like, a little little bitty spoonful like this. And I'm taking those, and I take, like, one sometimes, and I, sometimes I take one or two, and then that's it, man. I, like, my anxiety hasn't gotten worse like I thought it would. I thought if I wasn't smoking as much like I do when I do live streaming, that I would, uh, my, I would, I was, I would fall off. Because one day... I didn't smoke any CBD and I, my anxiety went bad, bad, but, and I thought, oh man, I got to smoke a lot of CBD to keep the anxiety down. But what I noticed is no, it's just, like I said before, when it comes to my anxiety, it just depends on where I'm at. If I'm at home, the vast majority of the time, my, my anxiety is not bad when I'm home. Um, it's when I go out and do stuff. Like when I go to the gym, my anxiety can get a little bad, right? 
I actually use it to my favor though, because when my anxiety gets bad at the gym and I get that stress, that that adrenaline rush, and I get those that those stress hormones hit me hard, I use it to my advantage and I work out. You know, because if you work out with that same adrenaline, you you know it, it helps to get the get the energy out, and so I use it to my advantage. Um, but let's say I go to the grocery store, right? Sometimes I, it'll hit me hard in the grocery store, like bad. And I might have smoked CBD before I even walked in there. And so I noticed that it really, I'm really not that dependent on it. It's, it's really just my anxiety is what it is at this point. And like I said, I've been smoking a lot less with not live streaming. And my anxiety has not gotten worse. <laughs> I thought it would. So I take back what I said. I thought CBD, this is personal experience and I've read on it, obviously, but you know, I read into it and there, there hasn't been anything that shows that there is any dependency on CBD. There is some on TAC rare. Uh, and I, anything, I, I guess what I would consider rare is anything less than 10% uncommon. 9% of people get addicted to TAC, but there hasn't been any studies that show people get addicted to CBD because there is no psycho psychoactive effects. Um, and like I said, I thought that <clears throat> that may be wrong, but based off my experience, I don't see anything. <clears throat> All right, let's take one more hit. This is a long little session. It's so weird because I don't hear the music like you guys hear. I hear it through the microphone, which is <clears throat> actually that's how you guys are hearing it too. If you're hearing it at all, <clears throat> I hear it because my headphones are turned up a lot, but you guys may not be hearing it as much because the mic. <clears throat> When I'm talking, I hear my voice much louder than you guys hear because I'm hearing it through headphones. If you're watching this through speakers or something and not your headphones, just watching it through your phone or something, um, obviously I'm not going to sound as loud. But, you know. Some people say, you know, I've been using this little bitty torch to light this thing up because it doesn't take that much heat to uh, get this thing going. Sometimes I use the bigger torches for, like I said, sometimes I do it for entertainment purposes. I don't really like to, uh, I don't like to do it. <clears throat> this thing is really clean. I got a lot of that stuff off of it. Uh, I only, I, like when I'm smoking by myself, I use this thing for the most part. It's nice, it's small. It's easy to use, and it gets it plenty hot, guys. This thing gets up to 20, 2,300 degrees, so. And people are like, that one guy, when we all saw me on my uh, uh, VR chat, he's like, wow, it gets up that hot? Guys, these are, these are flames. You know, these are torches. Even though they're small, even though this is a small torch compared to my other torches, it, it's going to get just as hot as my big torches over here. <clears throat> just those are heating a lot faster because they're pumping out a lot more fuel at the same time but this can be just a hot now would i use this to cook or grill of course not would i use this to grill cheese no i would use the bigger torch because i would have a, a much wider surface area to use i would use one of these big dogs but it still can get just as hot <laughs> it has nothing to do with necessarily how big it is <laughs> you know sometimes it has just it's just more about concentration bigger surface areas stuff like that because even i'll talk about that here in a second are you serious oh, i don't even know where that fell to get to it later <clears throat> I don't need it like that I can use this we'll take one more Sorry if that's super loud in y'all's ears. B 
we can get the drips, man. Okay, take one more. That's gonna be a little bit harder to do. Matter of fact, you know what, we'll do this. Might as well just switch to the other freaking thing at this point. Back in complete failure. I'm not working nearly as well. I don't know where that thing fell to, guys. Like zero idea. Yeah, I barely looked for that thing later. <clears throat> I don't know if it rolled back there or what. Anyway. Anyway, so I just kind of wanted to get this smoke sesh out of the way. Um, and I'll do a couple of topics from here. Um, I'm going to, normally I would cut it off and do some topics, but because I'm recording this on live, I'm just going to, uh, <laughs> I'm kind of deciding right now. Should I just, nah, I'll just keep this as a smoke sesh and not do it as a, like a live stream, but I'm going to go ahead and get into my next topic video and then we'll uh, have fun. So peace.